What's the business? You already know who it is. You already know what time it is. It's your folk in the National Keys. And I'm here on today. It is beautiful, beautiful Monumental Monday. Welcome to our very third episode of Get On Your Mark. I'm geeked up. I'm turned up. I'm super excited. Why? Because I'm doing what I love to do. I'm fulfilling my purpose in him. So check this out. Today we're going to discuss words. Last on our Thriving Thursday last week, we discussed uh, the power of thoughts and thoughts in general. And on our very first episode, we discussed the back to the basics, foundation of who we are. That spirit, soul, body, and we also discussed IRP, and that's identity, resources, and purpose. So let's get into this thing. Check this out. Words. What are words? I looked it up in the dictionary. It was some technical definition that nobody really trying to hear. So let's keep it in layman's terms so we can understand and, and really move forward Words in understanding. The verbal expression of your thoughts. Words are the verbal expression of your thoughts. It's a scripture that say, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And we already discussed how the heart and the word soul are used synonymously and interchangeably. So you might hear the word soul, you can use the word heart. You might hear the word heart, you can use the word soul. The heart is an aspect of the mind. Because we spoke on, through episode one, the soul is the mind, the will, the intellect, the emotions, the desires, the appetites, the affections of a person. And we are people, we individuals, we human beings. So the heart and the soul can be used interchangeably. Alright, now that we have that, we're going to move forward to understanding that the words that come out of our mouth are an expression of what's in our heart. Be it evil, be it good, be it death, be it life. The scriptures say death and life is in the power of the tongue. I looked it up and it actually meant death, like dying, decaying, decomposing. Death. I looked up life and it meant life, living, fresh, green. So the absolute power of death and the absolute power of life is in our tongue. The power of our tongue. This is this is huge. This is huge. So you have to be careful, like I always say, what you eat. Because what you eat goes inside. And what goes inside comes out. What you eat with your eyes. What you eat with your ears. What are you eating? The negative stuff we put in our heart and our souls is going to come out. It has to. This is universal law. It will affect you. There's another scripture that blew my mind. It said the words, there we go, the words of a talebearer or a gossip, the person I always run their mouth gossiping, they are like wounds. W-O-U-N-D-S. Wounds. They go into the innermost parts of the belly. So when people are gossiping, they speak it because it's the intent of the heart. Their intent is to speak malice against another individual. And those words of malice, those words of hatred or anger or jealousy or envy, the intent of the word, the negative power, the death behind the word is going to go into you or me and begin to change us. It begins to change us. So I'm telling you, like never before, we got to be real adamant, real serious about what we allow into our spirit, man. I'm super serious. People that are successful in the business world and all that, they understand the power of words, the power of words. Even now when I'm speaking, when I'm planning, I'm watching what I'm saying. I'm not saying that I'm going to try to do this. I don't say that I'm going to try to do that. I'm going to try to move this amount of product. I'm going to try to take Lord Save My City around the world. I stop using those words and I say, I'm going to do. I'm going to do and I keep speaking it. Your faith comes by hearing. You believe you more than anybody. You believe you more than anybody. So instead of saying, I can't do this. I can't pass this class. I can't be a good mother. I can't be a good father. I can't win. I can't do this. Cut that out your vocabulary by faith. And say, I can be a great mother. I can be a great father. I can be a great student. I can be a great teacher. I can be a great leader. I can be great. I can because your soul, your spirit man is hearing that and the confidence is being built with inside of it because you're speaking life into yourself. Don't forget, death and life is in the power of your tongue and you believe you more than anybody. So speak words of life. That's why as a Christian, myself, it's so important for me to understand the scripture, read the scripture, eat the scripture because it becomes a thought of my, 
it becomes a part of my thought process. And they are words of life. Jesus said, these words that I speak are spirit. So I told, man, I, I put that out in one of my texts that I sent to, 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 to the individuals on my text list. And, and this brother was blown away by, by it. He was like, oh my God. That thing shook him up for days. The words are spirit. Because if the power of death and the power of life comes in your mouth, then evidently when you speak out your mouth, you speak in spirit. Because we are spirit beings. This stuff is real. I want you to do some research. Go and see for yourself. It's a guy named Dr. Masaru Emoto. Dr. Masaru, M-A-S-A-R-U, Emoto, E-M-O-T-O, E-M-O-T-O. And he did an experiment called the rice experiment. And he also did experiments with water. We over 75% water or 70% water. So you really want to go and do some research on that. So long story short, so we can get ready to wrap this up. In the rice experiment, he took cooked rice, put it in one jar, two jar, three jars. One was neutral. Other one he had, I hate you on it. And the other one had, I love you on it. I don't remember the amount of time between 30 and 60 days, but they were speaking life and love and gratitude and thankfulness and encouraging words to the I love you jar of rice and I hate you, you stupid, and, and very negative words with the intent of the heart to the other jar. It'll blow your mind to see the results. The hatred filled jar began to mold at an extremely fast rate. It blew my mind. An extremely fast rate. In the love jar, it was okay. It was okay. So we got to ask God to heal our hearts and fill ourselves with positive things. Because our thoughts, go watch last week on Thursday, our thoughts going to determine our words. And our words going to determine our actions. And our actions are going to determine our habits. And our habits are going to determine our character. And our character, as I added, is going to determine our destiny. This is very important, very vital things. Very vital information. And if you apply it to your life in faith, you will begin to see your life change. So real briefly, words... Words are the verbal expression of your thoughts. And your thoughts are affected by your environment and what you allow to your gates, what you allow into your gates. Eye gates, ear gates, mouth gates, nose gates, feeling gates. Everything that we see, smell, taste, touch, hear, it affects us. So be very, very careful what you allow in your spirit. Protect your children, parents. Don't just let people curse around them as much as you can handle. Don't just let them watch and listen to do anything because there's a lot of attacks coming against all of us as human beings. So again, you already know what I say. We're about to close out. You become what you think about. So watch what's on your back. Been killed. What's a wild boy, no machine gun? Kelly, but these streets I did run. What's right?